Mm. No, 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 that didn't work. No, no, no. <laughs> welcome we back, adventurers. Claps. Wait, hey, Alan, well met. It, it we're, feels we're like here. we were We're back in here. Miss 3. Oh, is there a baby on that book? <laughs> oh, this <laughs> baby on the book. <laughs> no. <laughs> <It's a> baby. <laughs> yeah, I can see the ears and the big stupid head that babies have. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm no, sure. I'm sure this is going to be the design for every book, and I'm never not going to be able to see it as a baby's head. That's the best of baby. The baby's name is Jay Nannan. <laughs> Heath, that's Krillin. That's obviously Krillin. Uh, no, this baby has more hair than Krillin. Yeah, that's oh, weird. Right. <laughs> well, no, Krillin. Anyways, hi, welcome back to Miss Three. Um, it's it's been a minute. Uh. For for a second there, it almost seemed like we were uh like, like we were gonna fuck this up again and not do Miss Three a second time. Yeah, uh, weird. But okay, I so, never thought that. I always knew we were gonna do it. Uh, so last time we had just uh solved that crazy puzzle with the ball and the weights, and then mm -hmm. we got a design uh by completing that, and then we put the uh oh my cursor's freaking out and I can't see oh, it, shit. but I'm fucking nailing it. Nice. I'm also going to say that the uh, the stream quality for me is poor enough that uh, some of these things I'm not going to know really what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm gonna to spin that in a positive way. There is some <laughs> really interesting artifacting going on. <laughs> wow. right, so it's very... not just It's um, Tumblr as hell in here. Cool. Uh, so... So I just put the design in there, and I flipped, uh, you know, this thing got up and now up here. And at the very end of the last video, I think I made the fairly reasonable assumption that in here we have to put some kind of other pattern we're going to get from doing a different puzzle. And then, yeah. you know, up there, there's probably another one. But I realized I didn't even try the same design just to see what would happen. We, I just kind of, like, assumed nothing would happen and then ended the video, so... I'll just try it, just to see what happens. Nope. No. Okay. How do you get over there? Oh, you just gotta go back? Yeah. Um... So, we're here, and we're, uh... Yeah. We gotta find another... Hexapattern. A hexapattern. A yeah. hexapad. Alright, everybody, uh, place your bets for how long... It's going to take to find the next hexapattern. I've got <laughs> under five minutes on the well, pool. Ooh. I'm seeing several hexapatterns on my stream right now with the way things are looking. Well, I'm seeing yeah, many I'm gonna... hexapatterns on the ground here. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that with the increased time, basically Kyle's alone in this. And with, <laughs> is not going to get any help from us because um, this is like really late stage impressionism verging on like uh like modern abstract art uh, we're getting into kind of tiled mosaics here i would say okay. yeah well, um i mean quite interesting to look at it's but very it, very impressive it's analytically that is there anything bad. that we can do i don't know about that i i kyle's in a hallway there's a lantern <laughs> there <laughs> Um, the, it, there's a beautiful sunset in the distance. I, I can totally tell what's going on. There's a lot of gray. <laughs> well, there is. I mean, there's an orange sky. You can't see a sunset. So if you think you see that, <laughs> you're wrong. Maybe you're thinking of these floating lights. I do. Ooh, look those at this. Those patterns. <laughs> but yeah, we saw this last of, time. Okay. Shut hmm. up, George. I was gonna say there's some sort of Jesus <laughs> Last Summer thing going on. Or <laughs> I don't remember supper, that from excuse. last time. Yeah, no, this, this is, is definitely last this is a great Yeah, this is the last I'm supper. I'm seeing a Jesus sure. last supper with maybe some teenage mutant ninja turtles surrounding Jesus on either Yeah, you remember uh, Jesus was at the table and then all his friends had their <laughs> axes and guns okay. in the air. <laughs> they were here's like a, here's a question, an honest here's question. <laughs> Can you look back at the painting real quick? Yeah. Um the the what are those things that look like Smiling mouths, or maybe hamburger is surrounded by a green blur and a red blur oh. floating above Jesus' hands. Well, that's, like that's, teenage, teenage um, that's the the Father and the Holy Spirit. Oh, their faces. Oh, the green one. The green one came. I can see a face now. Okay. Okay. It, that's Sirius and Akinar. Oh uh, shit! Sirius and Akinar. That's actually 
probably true, right? And is he scaring these people? Are they scaring these people? Yeah, they they were horrific tyrants, and uh, for the for the ages that they wrote, um, I didn't realize they were also headless monster or bodiless heads. Mm-hmm. Keith, I'm taking screenshots of this, so Kyle, you can see what we're experiencing. At Keith some point. is still tackling um, artistic interpretation. That one's new to him. Oh, and then we get up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we we were. This part really oh, had yeah, me the, the the part where I stand in a thing and then I vibrate. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. This yeah. Weird magnetic. I know about that. I, have you ever had coffee? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had coffee. It's a lot like that. Yeah. So um, maybe what you need to do is um, take some time to, and just calm down, and then the puzzle will unlock or something. Uh, Sounds right. Ooh, big crystal or something. So, hmm. We got yeah. There's a big crystal up there. I mean, like, how bad? Like, is this genuinely so bad for you guys that you won't be able to help me look at things? Or something? whenever you're not it's moving, like, it's fine. Yeah, as long yeah. as you stay still and kind of take a second to have it settle, and we can focus on. It that. takes about yeah. When you've been moving around a lot, it does take about ten seconds for it to show something or show a full seconds. clear picture Jesus yeah Christ. yeah it's bad but when you're when you're moving around a lot i'm it's to me it's visually in, unintelligible um uh like i can tell that we're what, like that we're on the tracks still um oh, but if there's wow. any pattern that needs to be discerned it will yeah. not be discerned. oh uh, that's right and these things and i have no idea what any of this garbage is so this is the big question this is the big question are you ready i'm ready we know about the different puzzles that we have around us, but what's happening in the story? Oh. What's happening in the story is that we're we're in pursuit of that guy. That, who, yeah, that uh, guy. That the guy, guy from who, that one episode of the X Files. Mm -hmm. What's his name, John? You knew that guy. Brad Dorif. He shares a birthday with me. Brad Dorif. Yeah, he's also in Deadwood and One Flew uh, Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That's so funny that he shares a birthday with you. He's my number neighbor. Wait, what? Brad Durst, my number neighbor. Also, Truly. here's here's Prove something it. that here's something that one of my discords uh, pointed out is that none of us none of us called like the most what I would consider the most recently recognizable Brad Dorf role as Wormtongue in um uh fucking legend or legend, legend, the, legend, the, legend, of, legend of the boy of the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Legend well, of the Lord of the Rings. Well, I guess I'm going to have to lay the smack down on whoever was in your Discord, because we absolutely fucking did mention that. Did so, we? Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, also, that's... I oh, we're, okay, I, now, now I remember but, who that... That uh, guy was really good at that role. Yeah. I remember um, that now. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, I don't that, think... Yeah. We didn't We didn't really talk about it much. I think we just said it, like, once. Yeah. Or, or maybe I might be thinking of the, uh, the original video that is only available for patrons on patreon.com slash run button. See mm -hmm. the original time we played Mist 3 and then forgot about it for five years. We didn't even get this far. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We were supposed that to go up here we and pushing. see the ball yeah. this whole time. Oh, we were supposed yeah. to look at our oh, ball. Shit. Oh, nice my God. ball. I, nice I, ball. I, I did say that at one point. Hey, maybe we should go look at the ball that's up there. Okay, well, Would you say last episode or this episode? Last episode. Well, we can't be held responsible for anything that happened last episode. It's true. It's all in the past now. Yeah. Um, um, a really weird thing that's happening for me is that playing... In like, life or in the game? Uh, in the game, well, okay, kind of both, is that I'm playing this game, but it's so similar to you know, a traditional first person game that I keep instinctively putting my left hand on the WASD keys <laughs> and then like taking them off and remembering like, oh no, I don't do that. But you should just, be able like, to I do keep, that, right? Uh, yeah, it just feels right. Like I just want to have them there. It's weird. I want you to have them there too. Thank you. We all want this for you. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, it just goes to show how... Uh that we play video games and we know about WASD. So. Yeah. So yeah, if you're, if you're watching I, this I, and you're you're not a, a hecka wicked gamer who knows what WASD means, uh, get on my level. 
Yeah, I'm as a powerful gamer, as the most powerful gamer in the world, I know about WASD and I know about which keys WASD <laughs> is. Um, and I know how to use it to move around in a, in a virtual world of my own. And I, it's uh, an escape um, for me. I keep, I keep doing it. Like, I literally <laughs> just keep reaching my hands. Kyle, what did that 14 year old kid call the um, D pad when we were playing Apex Legends with oh, him? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like the separated buttons on the left or something. Yeah, like yeah, that? yes, yes, yes. The, the we were yeah we were playing Apex Legends and we had like a random thirteen year old join our uh, game and he was trying to tell us how to do something and he was like you know the separated buttons on the left side of the controller <laughs> you got to push Yo. the leftmost one. <laughs> it was just like oh my. That God. is so funny. Yeah. Because it's I mean it, and it makes total sense. It's D pad so for directional pad, and they don't games don't use those for direction anymore. Yeah, no, that's are so there, weird. Are there multiple ones of these dials? Yeah, there's it, there seems to be one for every path. Maybe but they all need to be set to the same thing. That uh, I guess. Yeah, I mean, or what's this out here? I can't remember who said this. I think it was on Twitter. But someone was talking about how a, a kid in like a classroom or something asked why the symbol for saving is a vending machine with a soda dispense. Because <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know what a floppy disk was. Yeah. Yes. So good. What's like, uh, you know, people like kids these days haven't ever seen a joystick, right? And we keep putting those on things. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And, um, yeah. It's, or, uh, oh, I, I can't remember. I was watching a show and they, they, they were, it was they were talking about VHSs or, or whatever, and I was like, it's funny they keep talking about VHS. It's just an old thing for some, for for this like cartoon to be talking about. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I was like, oh yeah, like even we even say like rewind, like literally doesn't yeah. make sense without mm -hmm. a tape to wind backwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but like also, sorry, go ahead. Um, I mean, there's. Uh, I wish I could think of one now, but like. There are things that we've been saying our whole lives that don't make any sense. I mean, like, mm -hmm. uh, you like know, computer bug. I'm sure, I'm sure, plenty of people out there that have to wear fancy dress shoes all the time still use shoe horns. But like, you know, how how often does the average person talk about something being shoehorned in somewhere versus how many times have they actually used a shoehorn? Mm -hmm. I've used a shoehorn a handful of times. So have I, but how many times have you talked about something being metaphorically shoehorned, Keith? More, more often. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. I guess we're going to set them all to... What? Anybody uh, have any opinions on these symbols? I don't know. I'm, the these symbols look like the same thing to me. They look like flattened frogs. They look like I'm against it. flattened frogs. That's what I was going to say. Jordan, this is an intervention. What's up with you and frogs? <laughs> They're great. They're um, they they're the god's only perfect creature. Jordan likes frogs so much. Yeah, they make me so happy. I but, love animals. Jordan likes frogs more than I like any other animal. <laughs> how much of this? How much of this is like an accidental affectation that you're leaning into? Not really. I mean, like, like re like being having liking frogs being part of my personal brand wasn't like intentional. Really? Well, no, you you had that viral tweet though. I did have that viral tweet. Was oh, that, that a real? Was that, that a real picture that you took? Uh, real no, quick? that was from that was something on Tumblr. Oh, so okay. Real, I had it was my it. it was my joke, but the picture was from Tumblr. I had never seen the picture before that. Guys, that funny fucking picture. Yeah, what's up? We're playing a video game. I don't know if you noticed. I didn't. Let's listen to the sounds that they make and let's decide okay. on a sound. Okay. okay. Sounds and symbols. Sounds like a movie I just made. What we talked about John, that you movie you shoehorned that time. in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would like to talk about the movie, but I also would like to hear these sounds. Oh, we, uh, I need to turn my volume way up to hear them. I like that one. That one's oh. that's something. Is this just on personal taste? Because I also like that one. I hate that one. Wow. Yeah, I'm against that one. Huh. That is a lightsaber. Yeah, that one sounds that's that one sounds like something's working properly. Like this one sounds like something's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I'd say yeah, either two o'clock or six o'clock. 
Hmm. I guess it's with. I think six sounds the most working to me. Can I hear? Can I hear? Uh, what is that? Like ten o'clock? No, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Two o'clock looks like a bug with a big old butt. Going with six. We're going with six. We're going with six. It's six o'clock, and we all know it. We all know it. <laughs> we all know it. We all so, knew like, that. The yeah. screen share looks way better now. It, yeah, it actually looks good now. Yeah, it, it, it must have just been a internet hiccup. Just a hitch. Just a hiccup. One, one more that. before we talk about John's movie. One more thing I want to say about saying things that are old but different. People don't say VCR anymore. People say VHS player. Wow. Because because we have DVD That's... players and Blu-ray players. Yeah, good. But nobody yeah. nobody says well, VHS. We nobody we says VCR DVD anymore. Well, that was the thing. Players? Yeah, like no one ever said VHS back when people actually used VHS. Like I was yeah, the, the weird techno nerd for tape. knowing that. Everyone else just called them videotapes. Yeah, they're oh, just videotapes and you played them. They're just tapes and you played them in a VCR. Yeah. Nobody says VCR anymore. I, I think also, so. Also, it's yeah. rare to have to say uh, VCR. True. True. Um, but, like, if you were, if you, you know, were talking to somebody and, like, oh, I was cleaning out our storage unit over the weekend and I found all my old Nickelodeon VHS tapes, but I don't have a VHS player anymore. I'll like I'll say this. I, I would have said this. VCR, but that's me. V VHS player does make a lot of sense because VHS is video home system, right? And yeah. so something that plays VHS tapes be a VHS player, but VCR is a video a, a video cassette recorder, mm -hmm. which is not actually what mm -hmm. anybody really used v VCRs for. Yeah, they were well, used we recorded for like, the shit out of some video cassettes. Oh, I never recorded anything with a VCR. Really? We just didn't do that. Yeah, we never did that. Yeah. We well, had, like, I I recorded tons of shows, but you know what was mm -hmm. fucked up was like I never like first of all, I should have been copying ridiculous amounts of tapes like every movie that I rented I should have been copying and I should have been recording myself playing video games all the time but I think like I tried those two things once and I must have set it up slightly wrong and it didn't work and I was just like well I guess I can't figure this out and like looking back on it I was like why did I not stupidly record myself playing like Sonic the Hedgehog for hours for no reason or something sounds like a thing I would have done <laughs> yeah, some some tape. There were tapes that did have uh, like analog DRM on them. Oh, uh, there uh, like retail tapes would come uh, that the tapes that were sent to rental stores would uh, a lot of the time would have like a tab missing ah. that the uh, that well, the VCR was looking for, and it wouldn't let you dub it out to another. VCR. I believe huh. that those are pretty easy to fake, though. That's going yeah. through a lot of effort. Mm. Um, what? But is, like for uh, most people, you put it in a VCR, it doesn't work to copy it, and they're like, "Oh, I guess I can't." What's everyone's favorite? Can we go around the horn? Say everybody's favorite, uh, uh, favorite format name. Uh, real quick, I would just like to give everyone a game update. I have set all the things to our agreed upon frequency, and nothing seems to have happened. That makes I sense, bet though, because different ones need different. I bet they have to do. These are obviously like marble tracks we need the yeah. balls I, is it possible should, should we that go we have to set because the tracks are in a similar shape as the dial that we're turning is it possible that you have to set each one to the corresponding track that it is hmm like this one is you know we have to well, figure out which one is the 12 o'clock oh maybe let's that's try can... annoyingly sensical Nice. Uh, we haven't tried sending a marble down any of this yet, right? Well, that's I don't have a mechanism to do that. That's the other thing is like I'm only that, doing this because I haven't found anything else to manipulate at this. I point. thought that was the ball puzzle. No, the we did that already. Right, but yeah, I but thought by solving it, we were able to send the the ball oh, onto fuck. these tracks. God damn it, Jordan! Oh, I thought that Kyle. I thought that you already figured that out because we went up and looked at the ball. Well, no, I got went up and looked at the ball and said, like, oh, this would have helped us with solving that ball puzzle. Like, that's uh, why I was like, oh, damn it. That's um, makes so much sense. I'm so when I get uh, mad at Keith on videos, it's because he's being dumb. When I get mad at Jordan, it's because he's being smart. 
I'm like, <laughs> oh, damn it, Jordan. That's a really good point. I should have thought of that. Or, uh, may actually, maybe we can't send the... Yeah, oh, God. I yeah, I guess not. Maybe it's... Sorry, my phone rang. Something or oh. other. I like digital versatile disc. It's a great... It's a great no, three words to say. No, that's bullshit. Cause it digital used, versatile disc. It was originally digital video disc, and they retconned it. Yeah, but a digital versatile disc sounds better. No, it doesn't. Yeah, because does. that's not what it's it a, is. It's it's not a versatile disc that you can I mean, do. It's, it's a video disc ninety nine point nine percent of the time, and then like mm. the marketing team for DVD was like, you can do other things too. I, to be fair, when I, <laughs> I, I, I bet that I burned more shit, non-video shit onto DVDs than I ever yep. watched actual DVDs. Wait. Man's got a point. You're saying yeah. you burned more DVDs than you watched? I think so. I think so. What? Yeah, I would put, like, ROMs and shit onto DVDs. I think emulators. we're learning that Keith has a very interesting relationship with with media. Disc. With media devices. <laughs> um, yeah, I was constantly in music. I would put tons of music onto... I would do that, too. I would, like... I did people forget wanted music, games. I'd go, like, yo, I'll burn you a DVD of a bunch what? of shit. I just, never did just because it could like yeah. hold so many more songs. But oh, you can't I would like play pirate them. like I would pirate ISOs. ISO put some ISOs onto a DVD. Love pirating ISOs onto DVDs. Oh Digital boy, Arsenal did list. I pirate an ISO onto a DVD or two in my time? Yeah, and I just you know I didn't like hanging out with my family very much, and nope. so I watched everything on my computer anyway. Hmm. So I never had a reason to watch a video on a DVD. Maybe I just had, like, a source of income for just enough of the tail end of the DVD era when you didn't or something. Yeah. For me, DVDs was a thing to impulse buy and never watch. Oh, um, well, that was DVDs for everybody, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I only ever had, like, 15 or 20. So since since we had actually solved the thing, we can't send the ball out now. Is that right? That's what it seems like. I meant to okay. go back and try again, but I can't. It's, I'm just well, we really stumped. There the... just seems to not be anything here. I don't know. We can go look at the ball, right? Have is there not? It's still on a track. Is there not something that we can do up at the actual? Wait, what's that? Ball? A button? Hold on. Turn around. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, okay. Sorry. Can we go up and and, and look at the actual ball? Oh gosh, we sure can. Maybe we can put it in our inventory. Oh boy. And then pull it onto the the thing. That's ridiculous, Jordan. This time I'm actually mad at you for having a bad idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I, I was cool. recently watching a, a kid's show with my daughter and uh, it was like uh, aimed at younger audiences and it was like explaining like oh yeah like what's that that's like what is this thing and then waiting for the response and then going that's right it's a telephone but it was like a mm -hmm. rotary phone and i was like i don't know if my <laughs> daughter knows that but then also like you know i know what one of those weird like hook phones i don't even know what it's called but i know old-timey phones that were around mm -hmm. before i was born so I think sometimes we like don't give like kids and young people enough credit for just like knowing things through osmosis. Yeah, that like media uh, is really weird. Interact. I feel like kids like kids develop a visual language of technology going back like at least a couple generations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um we were just talking about watching YouTube channels about technology that we We were just talking about reel to reels. So. Yeah. Yeah, what are those phones called? I think like, I used uh, to know the ones with like on the hook. Yeah, yeah. where you like um, evolution. Where you have to crank it. No, not the crank one. Crank ones. That's yeah, the rotary. That's the rotary phone. Well, no, there were phones that like the receiver was on the hook and the yeah. microphone was built yeah. into the phone, and, and you had like to crank it to make a call. Everything. Like, well, it looks like a desktop mic, but it's a phone, and there's yeah, the rotary thing on the bottom, and then that one. This is so fucked up. L what listen, would that candlestick phone. L listen to the listen to this fucking Google propaganda. Ready? So I googled evolution of phones, and here's what I have in a row: 
evolution of the cell phone, evolution of the mobile phone, evolution of uh, phone in photos, history and evolution of cell phones, history of mobile phones, evolution of cell phone design, history and evolution of the smartphone, evolution of the cell phone, history of mobile phones. Okay. Like, they're trying to erase home phones from existence on Google. <laughs> you, I mean, you don't think it's possible that that's reflective of the fact that everybody on Google who's searching about phones is only searching about cell phones? I think that uh, Google Google results are... Uh, Let's... Uh, Let's logic this out. What is Google's incentive to erase they the sell knowledge cell of they older make phone? sell cell you th- phones? And you cell think phone they need to systems. scrub rotary phones from the internet so that people keep buying their cell phones? If I definitely I think about... that they would they would promote uh, web pages that mention like Android or the Google Pixel. Keith, I think it's is that a ladder? Ah, ah. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck you. Um, Keith, I, I think that this is an issue ladder. with the search term that you used. Instead of evolution of phones, try searching telephone history. Telephones, yeah. Oh, hey, look what oh, we've wow, discovered. Look at Ooh, that's pretty. A thing. This, hey, guys, this looks like a puzzle if I've ever seen one. Oh, wow. Oh, oh shit. yeah. Oh, we're damn, doing it. We're what playing a video the game. We're Willy Wonka. Up, we're going up out of the roof. It's time to play a video game. It's time to play a video game. Is that what Holy we're doing? shit. Oh, this world got room. rad really fast. Oh, man. It's like a big jawbreaker. Oh, all the- shit. They're all passing on. Okay. Okay. So this is the, this is our thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So I was I I was right. It is that we've got to map this onto that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, the changing the dials on the gateways must change the the shape of the gears in here. So we need to. Oh wait 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 wait! Change the gear one more time. You mean or, pull the lever? Pull the lever. Yeah yeah yeah. Because they all they all start in one position and end in a different position, and I think the position that they end in is what we need to set the other things to. Yeah, like what are we because trying like to passing, achieve? It looked passing like the ball back and forth. Wait, it looked like the at the end of the spin, it looked like the tracks changed position. No, I don't think the tracks are changing position. I think we need to get the right gears in place to get to the ball to the place that solves the puzzle. And if you look here, there's five circles and then one mm-hmm. empty spot. So maybe that's where the ball needs to end. Yeah, up. yeah, I think you're right. Um, you. Oh, by the way, the me thinking that the the um, track changed position. It was just like it's snapping back from FMV to game. There was just like a little jump, and oh, it was like, okay. oh, it looked like it just looked like everything shifted, but it didn't. Um, so it, I'm gonna eat a chocolate covered pretzel. It right, seems Kyle, real it quick. seems like everything's working except that six o'clock one. Uh huh. Well, no, because the ball explodes at the first thing that it goes through, so I don't think it's set to the right thing. But here, yeah. here's what I'm thinking: is that whenever whenever the little marble that we've got here passes over, um, one of the glowing spots. That is that becomes the setting um, that we need to set that position to. Does that make sense? Um, no, it doesn't. And I'm going to ask you to clarify. But first, okay. I will say I'm not convinced that the ball is exploding. I think maybe it went into a wormhole, and we need to get it out through another one. Okay. Yeah, I, think, I thought I saw a there, chatter, but I could be wrong. There is a glow. The, well, the other balls were shattering, but we there is a wormhole or like some sort of weird thing exactly where it looked like it blew up. Right. Because if you watch it, it does make a weird sound. Oh, I saw oh, no, I saw dust. Yeah. So. All right, but see here the where the marble is moving. Whenever mm-hmm. it's over the thing, I think that's it moves the gear into into the position that we need to set it to. Right, so like the two o'clock position, the butt needs to be rotated. <laughs> well, it, you see it, what I mean? 
no, one more time. Let's do it one more time. I don't. And this understand. time, this time, watch the marble and not the actual track. Do to take pictures of the of the um marble, the marble positions? Yes. Let me see what happens when I skip this. Ah. I cannot skip it. All right. So, first correct position, second correct position, third correct position, fourth correct position, and then something's happening here that we need to fix. Wait, wait, wait. There's only like five of these little hut things that I can draw onto mm -hmm. or like slide onto, and then you're saying we need to get it into the position where it's empty, but wouldn't that just be the big path that kind of comes up to where we are? No, Jordan is saying that when see the blue the blue dots on the mm -hmm. dial when right. the marble is over that spot, that's what the correct position for that spot is. But how do we know what spots those are? I don't because, understand what that is saying. Okay, hold hold on. So, um, so whenever whenever the marble, so I'm talking about the ten the ten the the gear at ten o'clock, right? It's the, whenever the machine is turned off, it is oh, okay. it yeah, is in a, it is in a position to grab the marble, and then when yeah. the marble moves through it, um, no keep focus, going. keep going. Um, well, I want to read this. Uh, oh, it's just this one page. I think I keep forgetting. This is like one book that we're Probable adding book. pages to, or something. You must not let the fog come and swallow you. There are long spells, I think, days, maybe months at a time, when I can't remember what I've done. The fog rolls so thick around me, even if I hold my hand in front of my eyes, I barely see it. I strain and strain and strain, but nothing sticks. I think I think his sons came to visit us twice on mm. Narayan. So, okay, so, uh, Jordan, correct me if I'm wrong. If we go and we look at the 10 o'clock uh, thing... Sorry, do we know if these pages we already had? I don't think we had these. The first time Atris asked me to meet them, he told me they would come through the book. He said they will not understand how your words fit together. I don't remember. Should we just... We didn't have no, this. No, I keep yep. going. I, I Wait, you think uh, we did have this? We no, did not. We did not, yeah. I he agree. says they will not understand your words, fit, how your words fit together, but they will use them to open the shield. Uh, Narayan, he says, is where their lessons come together. Narayan is the sum of what they must learn. I remember Tamra was carving a spirit mask into the tree the day before the boys arrive. She tugs my sleeve to get attention, points at a glide ship in the sky. I am shocked by how young the boys appear. They look so much like their father, yet they are so different somehow, too. They are more impatient, and they are angry not to be treated like men. I take them to our home, tell them I will teach them how to care for it. I say, together, we will encourage the lattice tree to grow tall. They ask me why they have to work so hard. They tell me, no, Saavedro, that was later. That was after Atris mm -hmm. took them away. You know this because when you see them saying these things, they are older. Their faces have become angled and hard. They have grown up into men, and something dark is in their eyes. They tell you they've come back to fix Narayan. And I believe that is where yeah. we stop. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, can we look at the thing again, real quick? Yeah. So, Jordan, what uh, you're saying? So, I would like. I I think I understand what Jordan is saying. I would like. See, well, whatever. Here, here's do we thing. have a, do we so we do we do we have an idea which of these is twelve o'clock? Is it the one that's furthest from us right now? Is no, that I what think, we think twelve o'clock is? Well, here's I the think, thing. We, yeah, there's no, six. No, no, no. There's six gears around the outside, but there's mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five huts. I think the sixth one. I think the butt is where the marble drops from. No, it's um, a. Oh, sorry. I think we're trying to send it back into this thing on the right here over on the right side of the screen into that red door so that's where that's, that's the what empty is one the empty spot is what you're yeah. saying so just so so just as an example the there's like see, see they all have like the tabs coming off them right like the part that's rounded mm -hmm. on the end and longer uh, on the 10 o'clock one that's oh, pointed no. over the blue but when it's in position that tab is is pointed directly up So I'm thinking maybe the uh, the spot on the dial where there's no circle represents 
that directly up. That's where the tab is when it's there. Now it's to the left. And now it's to the now left. The butt, the butt is pointing. Oh, sorry, yeah. Jared. We were calling different things to the butt. I was calling the very bottom one the butt. The six. Oh no, sorry. I was talking yeah, about no, the. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Two o'clock is canonically the butt because it is yeah, so no, butt-like. Yeah, you, you were right. Yeah. I really, it really looks to me like we just need to change this six o'clock one into a different shape. Everything else well, looks pretty good to me. Which one is the six o'clock one? The six o'clock one should probably somehow fit into the eight. It looks like the six o'clock one can be rotated, maybe like. 45 degrees to the left, so it's fitting into like the eight o'clock gear and the, the other one to the right of it. Well, let's let's Perhaps. just go change something just to yeah, see. Yeah, let's go fiddle with some shit. We don't need. Yeah, we're not even 100 percent sure what the changing the dials even does to this thing. But I'm guessing that this oh. empty spot here represents where the ball comes from. This thing over I, here, and then these dots are the five huts. I yes. totally see what's going. I totally see now. When so when the. Uh, um, when the, the, the six o'clock piece, when the six o'clock piece has the marble in it, mm -hmm. it's the only one where the ball isn't in that groove. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. upside down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that. I'm just looking at the pictures that I took. Every um, other one, it's in like the little groove made out for it, except the, um, six o'clock one is flipped. So let's. Uh, I'm so glad that the video is just working now. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> it, looks so, it looks so much better. Well, this looks so much clearer. I don't know about that. This game uh, looks good. I think this good. game looks good. Wait, this game what? is like 30 years old. <laughs> I was just saying I really like the look of the abstracted kind of pixel. Oh, music. I see. That's fair, yeah. I still think that there's. this is going to be a picture if we see it at yeah, the right angle. Yeah, that's definitely going to be something. Um, Jesus, where the hell am I going? So which one, which one, where do no, we that think? Was right, I think? It's so easy to get turned around in this. Yeah. No. Where do we think six o'clock is? I, I, that's the thing I wasn't sure about is how six we felt about. Six o'clock is the one, is the rightmost option. If we're, if we are using, if we are looking at the huts with the entry rail that the drone drops the ball onto, if that is behind us and we're looking at the huts, yeah. then, uh, yeah, okay. My... So if we're looking at this central hut, that's that one right there is six o'clock. This one? Okay. No, that's that, Th that, the one I... on your right. 45 degrees okay. to the right. My, my personal theory is that this big one uh -huh. is, uh, Oh, is there a switch up there? A Nintendo Switch? No, no. Oh, I can't. One of the puzzles that we've been dealing with. Oh, you no, no, there's there. nothing up here. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think... I, you know how on the dial, there's the gray circles on every direction except one? Mm -hmm. And that's like the 7, 8 o'clock one? I think this yeah. is the 7, 8 o'clock one. I and agree. I think, and so I think this one is like 9, and that one's... 10, 11, etc. Mm -hmm. So if we're yeah. trying to, so I think this one is six. Yeah, that yeah, one yeah, is that's six. what Jordan was right saying here. too. Okay. Let's see. And yeah, okay. that's so, we have the weird not a butt selected. And I'm thinking maybe we go with uh, this little. I think it's two o'clock. Okay. You 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 want full butt? You're going butt on this. I one. think it's. I think we have to fix the butt. Okay, wait a second. I'm head head to another one of these these signs okay. on like the yeah. We set them all to the same thing. That's the part that I'm I'm weird yeah. out about. Yeah, like, I think it, that's wrong. It seems so yeah. improbable that we that it needs to be all oh, the right, same except for the thing one. is smashing. Yeah. So which right. wh what o'clock are we now? Wait, what o'clock is this? Well, I I my theory is that this is six o'clock. I uh, sorry. Uh, this is nine o'clock. Yeah. Nine o'clock? Okay, yeah. so we so that's But this one is also set to that weird shape, so Well yeah, because we set all of them to six o'clock because we like yeah. the sound the most. I Should we try I... setting all of them to just another one to see what it does so we can kind of determine how it Let's... affects the thing? I, I think we should match the arrow to the orientation of the shape on the on the control Ooh. panel. 
so, that's, so that one yeah yeah that's what we've been saying forever okay let me let's snap a pic of that thing up there i've got a, i have a pic of all of them already he's got okay. a pic don't need to snap a pic of anything okay. don't gotta snap a pic so here's here's what i'm gonna do because we're it's i think it's just up. gonna smash again because we haven't adjusted the one that it's breaking yet so yeah. what i did is i only changed one so I would okay. like to go back and see what is different about having only changed one of them. Okay. The yeah, so the, the big clogging. ball, the big ball will still smash. Maybe the marble will behave nope. differently though. Nope, nope, nope. Well, the marble's done. We can't, we can't interface with the marble anymore. No, no, sorry. The little ball in the in the thing. Oh God, I'm. Mm. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm right, 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 right. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah the big ball is one that's smashing. The marble is the thing that's in the gear puzzle right now. Yeah. We need Navigating this is a bit tedious. What? Yeah. Oh. Hey, I know that you've got you've got oh, like the speed right. click on. Maybe it's worth it to shut that off. It seems no, I I don't. Oh. I mean, I I do have it on, but that only happens. My cursor turns into a lightning bolt when that is used. So. Oh. Oh. Like like that. Whoop. I forgot we had to go to the um, the weird broken wall that's actually a ladder. And so where is that? There this glowy go. stuff looks slightly familiar. There we are. God, don't you just love when you can't <laughs> progress in the game because you just can't find a ladder? That's real nice. Mm-hmm. All, All right, right let's... so we change six, and it is in a different position now. It is. It is. Um, I'm not convinced that it is. The gear at number six is is rotated. Well, it's. Yeah, I have a picture of it. I know that it is. <laughs> rotated. Hmm. Oh, maybe it isn't. No, it was. Because this is still wrong. Yeah, this yeah, is the same. It's now in the same as it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I so, think that uh, yeah, I like the theory of setting each dial to correspond to the direction that the hut is. But now the the problem with that is that like there isn't a picture of the right shape in the right orientation. There's right. pictures of of different shapes in the right orientation. Yeah. And I so I don't know what that means. I, like, I don't know if that so, means like we just got to pick the wrong shape as long as it's technically pointed in the right way. Here's, yeah, I, here's what I think. See how two o'clock up here is the butt shape? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to go to the two o'clock hut and set the dial to the butt shape. Because we're like, this hut is the butt shape hut. And yep, then we have to go to the six o'clock one and... Right. change it to the slightly less of a butt but we're still calling it it's a like butt a, shape it's like an armpit it's like a slightly open arm okay arm. so so the, the plan arm. right now is to yeah. change is to match the shape not the orientation yes yes okay yeah. that's yeah i i'm fine with that all right let's let's see where that gets us that that technically feels like it makes more sense so it, that feels like a missed solution <laughs> yeah like uh, it's the, it's facing the wrong way for no reason but but but. but, 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 John, what up? How's the movie thing going? Yeah, the movie thing. Uh, we shot most of the movie. I would say around ninety percent of it. Um, Sweet. We still have two scenes left to shoot. Um, and my friend who shot it is also editing it and he's doing the assembly edit right now and once he does that I'll take a look at it and then go from What's there an assembly edit assembly so uh, an assembly edit is the very first me. edit that the editor does and it's basically just putting all the pieces together without much finessing it's just like oh here's everything we shot in order what do we do with it now it's okay. a, it's a chronological assembly of the scenes right of like the best take well, yeah, basically. Um, well, or, but in it's in the order that they'll appear in the movie or they're right. intended to yeah. appear. Yeah. It's basically just like, let's not make any judgment calls on what stays in or gets cut out of the movie. Yeah. Let's just put everything we shot as it appears in the script. We'll choose the best take and maybe choose the end point and the out point and the kind of most sensible way to put the scenes together. That's where you came um, from. And then... Uh, 
quiet, Jordan. I'm going the right way. How dare <laughs> you? Go from there. Uh, so I'm patiently waiting to see that. So I. Can How are you feeling my... about it? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little, a little nervous. It's just like, I think we got some good stuff, but you know, sometimes when you feel good at about when you feel good about it on set, then it's mm. crap in the edit, and then vice versa. Maybe you feel shitty about something that you shot, and then it works brilliantly in the edit. So um, it's tough to say. Um, but which, uh, which a clock are we right now? We we I, just did four o'clock. Uh, yeah. Four. We're about to do the butt. But uh, overall, pretty good. I think the movie at least looks really good. Props yeah. to my DP, Carson Lund. Um, shout so out to at, Carson Lund. <laughs> shout out to Carson Lund. Uh, so at the very least, uh, I'm happy with the look of it already, even before we do the color correction and all that jazz. So Nice. That's cool. That's shout the scene as well, because I chose yeah, everything. Shout out, John. John, why you didn't know? you just shoot he the just right colors nice. the first time? <laughs> yeah, if you if you shot the right colors right off the bat, you wouldn't do a color correction. Oh my like, yeah, I thought, ever, I thought it was supposed to be blue, but it was supposed to be purple. <laughs> now I've got to correct it. Stupid. That's a, color, color correction Stupid. is like the secret sauce that makes a movie look like a movie, right? Yeah. And not like something that you just filmed on your phone. Yep. It's yeah. The, well, it's, it's the also the lensing that, and... Uh, all that jazz, but um, no, I mean like, well, it depends how you shoot it. But if you know what you're doing, you shoot in it in a ungraded format, which I don't, I don't really know the techniques of it. But uh, you know, it's like all the information is there, and you in the color process, you just kind of lock it back in Moment there. Of truth. Like when you look at ungraded footage, it just looks like there's a big like, over it. and then you take that layer off. Looks like mm. mystery. All right, what's going on? Farts. Okay. Well, so Kyle, I saw you changing all the things, right? Yep. Uh, but I don't know. I don't. Did you? How did you know what to put? Where did okay. you just remember? Like, try to do it from memory? Yeah, well, we just matched the huts to their position on this thing. Yeah. I mean, at least what I. Oh, I thought we were matching the, the shapes. Well, the shapes line up too. So, like, the shape that. So. What I did was, here at this okay, here at two o'clock we've got the butt shape. So what I did was I went to the two o'clock hut and set the and two o'clock hut two dial to the butt shape because I was like, that's where the butt shape is. It's two o'clock. Okay. Just like that. But then I pulled the lever and we saw what happened. Can we pull the lever one more time? I want to see where this thing explodes. It, it's, it's exactly the same place. It went straight through and then it explodes at the butt. Um, because that's the first loop that it goes through. It goes straight through, to the butt, explodes. Huh. Okay, and so, but it's not, there, it's there not are, at I, the butt, actually. It's, but no, it's it like right after the, um, no, the, the, one, the single butt. No, it's, the one it's, butt. it's exploding. It um, explodes at 12 o'clock, doesn't it? No, that's not 12 o'clock, that's 2 o'clock. Because mm. if we're counting them... This is so rough. One... If, if we're counting them one, two, three, four, five, left being one and the bottom being five, right? Because there's five huts. It's exploding at hut number three, which new, on the dial is the two o'clock butt. I have a new theory. What's Let's, that? So may, maybe this like which hut corresponds to which gear thing isn't working but like so if oh, the yeah, ball is explode, coming but, down right. mm -hmm. and it's going straight through to this one and mm -hmm. then exploding maybe like maybe where does the marble come from because that might solve it for us so yeah in the marble eight, here it hits it hits this first gear and then goes to this so like maybe this shape we need to set the dial to on the first you know because it's the first oh, gear that it gets to maybe we need to right. set the first Warp okay. door thing to that? Yeah. Well, one more thing that I noticed real quick is that while it was running, those the crystal on each hut lights up in a certain order. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I had been like kind of wasn't sure if I was imagining that or not. Let me take a... Note. So yeah, one, two... 
Okay. Three. Oh, so they're li- oh. they're lighting up as the marble is passed between the gears. Yes. Okay. So or what we have to do off, is that the the marble in the little puzzle in front of us has to be in the. So it seems like what is happening is when the little marble passes over these circles, it deactivates the gate on the corresponding oh. hut and lets the bigger ball pass through. So we mm-hmm. have to like figure out how to get the little marble in the right space at the right time to let the big ball go through. Right. I like your idea about. Um, Let's see that one again. I like your idea that since the marble is heading through that gate first, that we have to set it to. Okay, so we have to set that gate, the huh. leftmost gate, to that first marble. How the hell position. would I do that? That doesn't make no sense. I think it. I think it makes sense. I think you. I think that you nailed it, Kyle. I think that you totally got it. Right, I have but- a picture. I think that if we just go. If we go, we can do it. I think we should just try it. But uh, so here's what I'm looking at. It seems like I'm correct that this empty spot corresponds to this one. But that means that the first gate that the big marble is going to is the two o'clock thing. But the little marble seems to only want to go in a clockwise way. So like, how do we get the marble to go from here through to the two o'clock? No, no. I think it's the other way. The gate is going to make the big ball go a different way. We're not trying to make the marble go a different way. We're trying to make the big ball go, like, warp to the leftmost gate well, first. It's Well, no, it seems to me like the gate only destroys the ball, and we're just trying to turn it off so that the ball can roll through normally. Right, so how do we manipulate the gates or the, the warps? Let's, let's try setting huh. the butt... Let's try setting the butt gate to the symbol that the that the far left hut is and see what that does because the butt gate is the first one that that interacts with the big ball and so if we can just mess with that until we get the big ball to behave differently somehow i think we'll make progress does that make I sense mean, he, sorry can we that again? where the i think i think if we feel so like the third hut the butt hut butt if hut. we go if we go change the dial on the butt hut to be to match the symbol that on oh. our little model here okay, is yep. the first symbol that it goes through. Yep. Maybe that will do something. That sounds and like a it, thing. Yeah. If so it we, doesn't do something, we can keep messing with that dial because it's the first one that the large marble inter- yes. it like interacts with. So and we, if we can figure out how to make it do anything, then that would be progress. Yeah. So we want to go to this hut right here. Yep. And we want to set it to this symbol right here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, That's what go, I think. Let's go do that. Um, can we uh, can we see where the actual where the gate is living? Or there are multiple gates. There's a gate on each hut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where have you been? I have only seen the gate. I only noticed it for the like once, like at the very beginning. I haven't seen where it is. I thought just thought we were just passing the same gate over and over again. Um. Oh, no, we're going the wrong ass way. I like these ribs that we're walking through. Yeah, what was this? Um, Big fish. We, we, it was well, supposed to be stone. No. I guess it could it be like you and McGregor. Um, these are, this is the gate. This crazy okay. vibrating thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that. That's where it's breaking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So right. we want that one. that yeah. one. And let's see if we can puzzle this out. So it goes down this track. Wait, were you not vibrating when you walked through there again? No, I, I will be. It's just one. Oh, okay. Sorry. So if it comes down here, where's it gonna go? Through here? Yeah, through the right. I, I guess. And so that means we gotta set this one to that. And then that's gonna go up here, through there. I can't believe we made sense of this. We did this. Yeah, I never, it never occurred to me to just walk the track. Uh, I think you went the wrong way. 
there. I don't think I went the wrong way. Yeah, you did, because we already set that one, didn't we? Uh-uh, not this one. Wee. Now that that is the way that we came. This is the way that we came. Okay. Oh, you know, it looked like you turned, but now that I saw it again, it was following the curve of the, mm, the floor. I lost my place, so let's just try it and see <laughs> where we're at. Yeah, let's let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. We do get to see that that fun cave mural of Cirrus and Akinar every time. Don't you mean the Last Supper? Yeah, the Last Supper. It the was Cirrus and Akinar's last. The full and Akinar's title is Last Supper. <laughs> The uh, the the full title the is the Last Supper of Atrus's two very large sons. Yeah, <laughs> I think something's gonna happen this time. I think something's gonna happen this time. Also, let's see how it do. Oh, Hot damn! Shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Nice. We fucking solved this puzzle. Oh shit! But 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 yeah, I don't think we did. What? Didn't do anything. We got it. Oh oh, oh 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 oh! Don't you ever doubt? Hell yeah! Well, I think that, that I think that six o'clock thing being upside down was just a red herring. Then someone uh someone take a. A snappy. Yeah. I took a mental snapshot. I got it. I, just, I snapped it. Yeah, I guess you're right. That that one gear seeming like it was wrong. Yeah, it must have just been a kind of a fake out or something. All right, I got it in my noggin. I, I took a picture also. A good game. That Game's I'm, good. I mean, I'm not sure I would have wanted to go through this world with only my brain, but with four <laughs> brains, it's it's totally the, fine. I think that's the fastest we've ever solved a puzzle in one of these games. No. Wait, in one know. of these for, games? For Get out of here. You don't think? You Across don't think the that whole was series? really quick? I thought that one was actually pretty long. Oh, do That we... was like an hour. Was it? I felt like that went way faster than the first ball puzzle. No. Yeah, no, it did. Or at least we weren't as frustrated. I mean, especially because that bled into the last video, because in the last video ended with us walking that track and going, what the hell is this thing? Uh, that terrible. doesn't count. I don't think that counts. I think it counts. We walked the track, but we didn't actually try and solve the puzzle. I mean, yeah. No, that, that was the right way. That was the right way. Well, that was the thing. We didn't try to solve the puzzle because we couldn't even find what you manipulated to do the puzzle. We're just like, oh, this is something, I guess. Okay, so I maybe I missed it because I, I, um, I don't know, but what happened at the end? The ball went this way, and I guess it went in that in house? There. Yeah. Are you sure we're done with it? It no. gave us the code. Oh, sorry. Yeah, shit. Oh, right, we're going back Stop to the code. Stop confusing me. Right. Yeah, I, I was, Jordan... What? <laughs> I was going George. the right way, and you were like, hey, turn thought, around or something. I thought this is how we got to the code. The code thing. No, I'm the sorry. code's the other way. What that was my bad. Oh, my God. I made us waste time. You made something that's never happened on a run by oh, yeah. How dare you? Yeah. Oh. It's it's my job to waste time. It's your job to be helpful. <laughs> Thank you. That's, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not playing my class. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I guess we still need the. Th the this is pointless, right? I, mean, I guess I'll do it anyways. But no, it's. I think you enter the the old code. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think we still need three codes, and we only have two, so this seems ultimately pointless. But I will. All right, I remember this. All right, it's that one. The one above it. The one above it to the right. The one directly to the right. All the way at the bottom, above it, and to the right, and to the right. 
You sure? Can confirm. Can yep. confirm. Damn, Jordan yeah. was right both times. I did. I did real good, but with shapes on my GT tests in elementary school. What's a GT test? Or, uh, or a um. Not. I didn't do good with my memory, apparently. Um. Oh, GT is uh, gifted and talented. They may have called uh, it something. Uh, different. And also, we didn't GT. have. We didn't have that. Yeah. 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 Gifted and talented, but also gin and tonic. I'm seeing a walkway down here. Have we been on this walkway? I don't think so. I guess we must have been on that walk. So, yeah, now, I mean, there's, I guess there's one more puzzle, but beats me where it is or what it is. Well, those we have to like, raise those things off in the distance, right? Those, like, smart kid classrooms, that was some, that was oh. some shit that I knew about from, like, Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> but I never went to a school that had that unless you count high school having, like, honors classes and AP classes. Yeah. I mean, you don't think maybe they had it and you just weren't in it? Yes. What is that? Yeah, what is that boat? How do we get over there? This is, is not a boat, Jordan. This is it a... It looks like a flying boat. It's a structure. It's in the water. It's a um, post. My memory, and Kyle, I think we've talked about this before, but my memory is that... Um, what haven't we talked about before? Right, I know. We've been, feels like <laughs> we've been talking our whole lives. Um, uh, but I, I believe that I was offered, or my mother was huh? offered, that I was huh? for me to skip first grade. Uh, and my mom was like, no, don't do that, which I think was actually the right call. Yeah, um, I think so. Because I was already the youngest in my grade, and I would have been the youngest by, like, two years. Right. Uh, um, uh, my... But, it, like, if they're, if they're saying that I could skip a grade, they would have put me in a gifted and talented class, right? Yeah, I would. I would assume that that may just not have existed for your school system. Yeah. Um, oh, I was also I was in French immersion, so there probably wasn't like. Oh yeah, there's there probably, probably only one. There was two. There was two French immersion classes. So there, if you're in French immersion, they're probably oh, like, like oh, we're not going to give these kids also harder math or something. Yeah. Um, it's got to be this thing on the left, right? That big, the big bulb in the water. I or is think, this new? I think this seems new. This does seem new. I don't. I mean, this. like, I think this has been here the whole time. I just didn't find it until now. Oh wait, oh. this is just fuck. This is where we were earlier. Oh wait, okay. Go. go Turns back to out, the... God, I just needed to. I just needed to click on nothing, and I would have found the ladder, of course. <laughs> um. Yeah, back over this way near these columnar uh, pillars. Uh, also, check out our list of the seven best columnar pillars in video games on thank fanbyte.com. Thank you. Is that um, a real list? It is a real list. What? Uh, that's a real list on our on our website right I now. I didn't even think that was a real word. Columnar? Yeah, columnar is just an adjective describing a column. Yeah, like, okay. I mean, a, a columnar pillar just sounds like a column to me. That seems like a needless distinction, right? <laughs> yeah. If you're trying to write a goofy article, then it's a funny distinction. Um, It might be columnar rock formations. I don't remember the exact headline. I didn't write it. Uh, columnar is specifically a word that that describes the grains of a thing. So, like, maybe like, I, I know in metallurgy like different parts of a stru of like a metal structure are organized in different ways and some of those ways are columnar uh, so maybe the same is true of <coughs> rocks He's such a fucking nerd <laughs> uh, this was for research for friends of the table uh, yeah nerd that looks like stairs research. can you get up there yeah they look like stairs but uh, nothing's doing so far. On, on your left there that if you click on that that tiny first step this one no, keep going. No, the, your other left. Oh, you mean my just, right. There. Just that a one. heads up. I got a little under a half hour left before I got to go elsewhere. So. Why? What? Can Wait. we go around the other ah! side of this? Oh. You fuckers. Stop hiding you, stuff. Hiding stuff doing? is not a puzzle. What are you doing, John? It's so fucking important. I got things to do, man. I got places to be. You said you didn't have things to do. That's why we're recording today. <laughs> I said I was available at five five to record for a while, and that will have been over two hours by the time we get to that's, that point. Yeah, that's fair. Look at this happy robot. 
Uh, hmm. Is this robot happy? Where are you seeing happy? That looks that's like a. This guy's making. This looks like a robot that's tripping, tripping out right now. <laughs> it's on it's so many robot roads. He's fucking. <laughs> his tongue sticking a, out. It, oh, I was gonna say it, maybe he. That's his blunt that he's. This is oh, yeah. the guy. <laughs> like, oh, this shit. is the guy that trapped that baby in that book. Mm -hmm. uh, hey kid, you wanna oh, know how to read? Oh, pull the lever, of course. Um. Right, let's see what the hell this is. Oh, so good. Here's my, this is my, this is my John Davies call-out post. Uh, uh, Kyle says, you idiots around for Miss tomorrow? And John says, yeah, probably 5 p.m. Eastern and after. Mm. Yeah, after. Mm. For two and a half hours. No, no that's, that's no, not what that means. That's not what that means. <laughs> that's not what that means, Well, John. I scheduled the drone. What of it? What do, what do you want me to do? No, hey, I, there we go. I, I literally that. want nothing from you. I just want the truth. <laughs> And, we, and I feel like I got it. So a, man, a man is free to schedule things after a missed record. <laughs> oh, <just. laughs> well, That was fun, though. <laughs> yeah, so far, this world, extremely frustrating to find the puzzles. But once we find them, I've been really enjoying it. Yeah, what? good puzzles. What are we, so what are we doing here? Let's, what, uh, have you I never know, played Mist before? I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> no, well, I don't know if we knew what the puzzle did yet. What do we, it's another track puzzle. Yeah. Where is the ball starting? Where is the start position of the ball? That's a, that's a good thing to figure out. Um, the ball, it come from here. And, well, I guess Go. we'll watch it again. I put pegs in it last time. This time I'll do no pegs. This robot looks like he's trying to sell me some speakers. <laughs> Off like the back of a truck. No, you know what? Hang on. I got these in a second. Uh, okay. When this is done, I'll I'll tell you what that robot face actually is. Okay, so it went into the empty spot. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> <of six laughs> uh, what just this actually is? This face right here is the. Uh, oh. The cover Speed image spell. for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, okay. So, pegs. Pegs. We know them. We love them. I think these ones are borrowed from Battleship. Okay, I guess it's just me. <laughs> On uh, this one, so I guess what we're gonna do is. I, so I I I saw it. I'm still not exactly sure what it. Yeah, none wants of us are. To do. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm like. I have no idea. I put a I I put a peg in the slot that I think corresponds to where one of those circles is. I guess, and I think I am already. Oh, I did a thing. Oh. I did it. All right, and so now it's the other side. Oh, okay. I, hmm. I think I understand what, what's happening. Um, So the peg that you put in there is gone. Yeah. It fell through a little hole in the back of the thing, you see? Mm-hmm. Um, Six o'clock position. Right, so wherever you put the peg is where the rotation is going to stop. So the rotation got to went from noon to six o'clock, and then the peg fell out and it stopped. Okay. And so if we can figure oh, out where to make the rotation, phone. yeah. So if we can figure out where to make the rotation stop on the right side, uh, back uh oh, wherever it needs to go. Uh oh, whoa. Uh, -oh. uh, my computer, my my cursor separated from its body, and now the. Oh, shit. Game is frozen and the color of my screen is different. Oh, wow. It's working for us. That's just so us. weird. The game is working again, but just like the color of the screen is different. If you want to got... save and restart, or. Do you have the like changes the color temperature of your monitor based on what time it is being that's, turned on? That's what I'm thinking it must have been, but it doesn't. Because if the game is in full screen, it disables that. Oh. So well, if the focus if the focus of your yeah. monitor changes for a second, then it'll turn back on 
and then whenever it goes to the game, it'll turn back off, and it'll look like all the colors are shifting. Um, anyone got a? No, no, I'm I'm talking about in the game. The Seven o'clock. o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah, wild okay. guess. Let's let's see. Well, I mean, there's three pegs. We must need all of them, I guess, right? I don't maybe know. Not. Oh, maybe like the left. I bet the left dial needs two because the ball is going to get passed back and forth. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, I thought oh, that it okay. was. Okay. We're trying to get it through. The video looks smoother to me. Okay. I think we're going to overshoot it. Maybe we're not going to overshoot oh. it. Oh! Maybe that's right. Is that right? Woo. No, it's okay. close. Oh, okay. So okay. maybe I think I'm getting it now. Cause we we sent it over this f further inside one, and we want it <laughs> to be the nearer inside one. Mm -hmm. For the second time around, or the first time around? Second time. So um, so we want it to stop one sooner, so we put it up at this one. Yeah. Instead yeah. of the other one. I think so, because it's rotating clockwise. Boy, I sure, sure hope this is recording. What a bummer this will be. <laughs> Do you we'll want have the to audio stop and check? I mean, Audacity? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, fucking. So, oh, XSplit wouldn't fuck up just because the game did, right? It's still like recording your screen. I have no idea. Same. Bam! Okay, but now, works. now we don't have the final one. So, so it explodes. Wham! <laughs> but where is it ultimately supposed to go? Like, what are we trying to really? We're trying to get it, John. John, <laughs> you just don't get it. John, can you shut up? <laughs> oh, I see. We're going. Why don't you make some plans, oh. John? Okay. So <laughs> I think I think our first two. <laughs> It took Kyle a second. I'm glad you. <laughs> okay, so we sent it over here, uh -huh. and then it goes around, and it looks like we want it on this outside one, but we want it to not land in a basket. We want it to land in an open one, so it falls through to that bottom oh, track, yes. and it goes that yes. way. No, it's that's kind of like mouse trap. Then on, isn't it? Feels like mouse trap, right? Board game, mouse trap. Uh, it like feel like I'm that. not familiar with it. No, 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 it no, feels no, like no, mousetrap, except that that, uh, that mousetrap is somehow more frustrating. <laughs> um, try the one behind. It would have to be the one behind. Left, Otherwise, it has to be. Gonna, yes, yeah. yeah. The one on the left. On the down. left has to be seven o'clock because if it's anything else, it'll stop too soon. Mm -hmm. Nope. No. <laughs> Kyle against the world. Let's see who's <laughs> right. Even I know that. I just want to. I'm just glad that we get to watch this video one more time. I like it. Right. Fun. Oh, because the one on the left goes counterclockwise. Oh. Maybe Kyle's right. Kyle against what the world. If, what if Kyle was right? Kyle's not basing this theory very much. It's more like a hunch. No, I think Kyle, I think you're oh, right. Oh, Kyle, I think shit. you're fucking right. Wait a nope. second. Damn it. Huh. Well, it did the thing that you thought it was going to do. Yeah. It just so didn't you were, deposit it in the, in the right place. It didn't deposit it in the right hole. So it oh, must... I hate when that happens. Okay, so it must be this further inside one again. Right. Well, what let's if, just what let's if we do the thing that you guys said? Oh shit! Where did I put this one? Top left. Right. Yeah. Let's go with that. What if we? All right, Hunter S. It... Thompson, take us home. <laughs> what if we don't? What if we're not supposed to pass it back and forth? What if we pass it to the one on the right and then make it... Oh, well, no, because there's no way that it would fall through the thing. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Huh. Well, that's going to be completely wrong, but... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. So what... 
Oh, okay, yeah, we don't need to be on the outside track, we need to be on the inside track, right? And we need, like, the out, the inside furthest away track is the one that will deposit it into the mm. empty space and send it on the railway. No, I, so, I, I think it's, I think it's this further inside one, like the, yeah. the third one, not the last yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Right, yeah, oh. so the third one... The is there a way one, to just do that on the first pass? The third one's going to deposit it where we want. So if we, um, so if we can make it stop there, where does it start? Is there not a way to just make it do that on the first pass? Wait, is isn't this? No, that's right. a different track. I don't think we can see the track that the ball comes in from. Um. So if the one on the left spins counterclockwise and the ball lands in the empty space, mm -hmm. then in order to make it stop, it would be... It can't... Oh, it would be the one that's permanently plugged up that we can't use. To make it go on the first pass? Yeah, that's why it's okay. plugged up. So we have to do it on the second pass. Ah, Okay, I was confused about what you guys were talking about at first, but I... I Does that make understand. sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so... So I think we've been right up until this point. I think that noon on the left circle is right, and I think that 10 o'clock on the right circle is correct. Um, and then we need to figure out how to make it stop to wow. pass it back over to the right side on the third rail. <laughs> Well, there's only three options, so... Yeah. Keith, how are you doing? Ah, I kind of love that quick thing. We all, let's get that, that quick thing. We all love it. It's true. I love the quick thing. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hell yeah! We did it! There it is. Okay, that was the fastest we've ever solved a puzzle. I, you, what do you have? It's, it's been five years, Jordan. How do you? Know? <laughs> Most of those puzzles in Mist and Riven, I had already done before. That's true. That's true. So what's uh, what's we got? We got this one. We got yeah, we this did one. It. Nice. Someone want to snap that? What are we laughing at, Jordan? I got it. Yeah, it's in. We, Jordan, and I got it. Um, well, we were laughing about Jordan saying like, "Oh, that's got to be the fastest we've ever done a puzzle." And I was like, "Jordan, it was like we did Mist and Riven five years ago. How do you remember how fast <laughs> or slow we did any of those puzzles?" I remember everything taking forever. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Miss Three will probably take us longer because it's the one that none of us have played before. Like, because mm -hmm. Mist, or sorry, Riven, Riven is basically impossible if you don't already know what to do. But I already knew what to do for most of it. Or, but like a lot of it was like I just had to refigure it out. Yeah, all of the ones you didn't know uh, really showed. <laughs> I don't trust Keith to have uh, no, any up one up one. Oh wait, I, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Still? Okay. I don't trust Keith to actually have a functioning memory of what happened. I think that's just your <laughs> negative impression of what happened. I liked Riven more than Mist One. What was it? This? Each one of these yes. I've liked more. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Sweet. All right, uh, give me a diamond at the very top. Oh, yeah, diamond and then... And then... South, uh, at 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Oh Y'all, we boy. did it. boy. Nice. Oh. 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 Oh, it's a... Welcome to the room. Oh, Shit. Oh, shit just got real. Damn, that's sick. That's the coolest bridge I've ever seen. Damn, mystery is a pretty cool game. Game's good. Is that a seat? That, that looks like... Good. That looks that's like a leather spine. That looks like something I kneel on and rest my body right. forward against. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Which is never a good thing. So here's a message from Dad. Oh. What's the matter? It's your number, neighbor. I can't remember it? how things yeah. work. Yet you explained this class so well when we first spoke of it in Orion. I want Cirrus and Akinar to learn everything they can, Savidro. First from Amateria, Idana, Voltaic, and finally from Narayan. When my boys come to see your Narayan. people, I want These them names to suck. see Narayan's <laughs> traditions at work so they can see how civilization can balance an age. Do you know what they did when they finally came to us? You never came back. After class was over, you took your boys away, and you never came back. Cirrus and Akinar did. Damn, Cirrus and Akinar seem like they really suck. They're bad they, people. I mean, <laughs> the only thing that's not working for me about this plot is, like, it all hinges upon the very stupid misunderstanding that, like, we're not Atris. Yeah. Here, like, is that a handle? That like, you can we don't need to be convinced that Sears and Akinar are really bad. We already know that. We're on this guy's side. Yeah. Right, but that's, I mean, I think that was that's a pretty recorded twist. twist. I don't think that, uh, was well, it, Kyle, is that a, wait, go back. I'm sorry. Um, is that a handle that you can turn right there? Below the button. Seems to oh, be a and button. What's below the button. Can't remember that. how things work. Um, well, Kyle, the other thing is that also Atrus knows that Sears and Akinar suck, so the plot would be the same either way. Yeah. It's really just like trying to catch up to this guy and explain. And like, like, no, no. no. Right. Yeah, can we have our book back? We agree. We already killed Sears and Akinar. Um, oh. Do. Hang on. This. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there we go. Hey, Willy wow, Wonka. okay, what's up? This game loves Willy Wonka shit. Willy Wonka. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, now we're in the nice. ball drone. We're in the ball drone. We are. The we're in the BB, we're, we, we're BB-8 now. Oh, dang. Oh, what is this? What do we do? P press something. This um, it seems this is like so scary. Imagine being that that being this. <laughs> you know what? I'm starting to. We should uh. Yeah, we should save. I'm gonna save. But I'm saving it as a new one, in case it didn't record right, and we have to go back. Okay. I want to go check the recording. And John, do you, is this where we part ways? Quick, just a quick, oh, it sounds like it's just about time for John to get going. Let's pull the lever. Let's just futz with this a little bit, see what we're Let's dealing with here. Let's just even see what it does. We don't even know. We don't even so know whoops, what it we turned does. It off. Oh, it looks like I turned it off. Yep, that's <laughs> very anticlimactic here. We're just putting this away. Wouldn't have been great if this is, thing had just killed us immediately. It is the end of the <laughs> video, and that's time for us to all go home. No. Clean up your toys. Strike the set. Wipe off the grease paint. I just... Time to, time to move this circus one more town down the road. Uh, very this, bittersweet. The, the but we'll be back again production of this game just holds up in a way that other games of this era just don't. It's true. What year was this game? Uh, I think it's like... 2015. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> uh, it must have been like late in late 90s, early 2000s, like 2001, 2002. Um, oh boy, there's colors here. I'm, I'm 2001. 2001, May 7th. That one's going okay. over there. Oh, no, I think you missed this one. I think you had what it. What do the colors before. mean? 
Who knows? Can you move them? Can you move the colors? Wait, I can't seem to line up this red with anything. It does the oh, does the little crosses do they rotate the circles? Oh, I'm like rotating the position the of the circle. No, I mean like the position of the circles. Like the... No, I I just click on the circles to rotate them. Oh, okay. What, what happens if you click on the crosses? crosses? Um, that is going to be tough for me because the curse now looks like the, I, I mean, I'm sure you're seeing it also. The cursor is like disappearing when I put, yeah, yeah, like, it's that's... trying to, it's telling you, Hey, zoom out. Why does it want me to zoom out? I don't know. It's saying it's got the little minus thing on it, right? No, uh, no, that's when I'm talking... out here. When I'm yeah. on it, it disappears. Maybe if you go back out and then come back in, it'll work. Wow, good idea. No. 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 That's it's weird. Just, well, you know, we're... The we're, visual style of this game just holds up in a way that other games from this era don't. Keith, it's not working <laughs> right, obviously. This is like... This is like three versions of Windows incompatible with this, and it's running in an emulator, so obviously there's going to be some bugs. No, I think this is as designed. Yeah, I don't see I don't see how we can get anything. Huh. Wait, do the colors okay. I was about to say do the colors oh. correspond. Yeah, because up here is a red thing, over here's uh -huh. a green thing. Oh I yeah. That oh, that's a blue must be thing. Blue and well Sure. That's yellow. Yeah, this is obviously, <laughs> obviously yellow. yellow. <laughs> I mean uh -huh. actually when... one little bit of yellow right there. I mean First of all, the light is yellowish on here, but down, if you remember, underneath this ramp, there's like a weird toxic slime oh, yeah. pool that's pretty yellowish. Forgot about that swamp. Um, okay. Um, I mean, I, I, I have to assume that... Wait. What does it want from us? Kyle, you have to know what happens when you assume. Uh-oh. It's sometimes I, I've actually, you get it right, I've and sometimes heard. you get it wrong. Well, yeah, okay. So <laughs> sometimes you assume right, and then sometimes you're not. Oh, right. it, the colors are even here. Duh. Here you go. Okay, well that's good. Um. Um. Oh, because this this is just showing like these like these outside. This just represents like if you send a marble to the green area, it's gonna do some shit, and it's gonna send it back. But where where it go from? And, yeah, I don't... and what's with this? What's with this? Yeah. What the fuck, game? Unless that's unless this is like the end. So like sending it up to the top is like the last thing we need to do. Maybe. And I mean, I guess. Does the amount that the that the circle rotates depend on the position of the other? Circle. So, like, if you were to move, uh, like, the middle right circle, hmm. would maybe the top right circle be slightly now same? This actually seems worse. Am I okay? Oh, so no. maybe that is something. Maybe that is something then. Mm, maybe if we get um, no, maybe the mid, the top middle, and then that. See, those seem to all line up. But oh, but there's arrows here, so it only goes in this way and comes out this way. And and also, this is—I mean, obviously, it's a marble track because we saw it inside. But I don't know where the marble even comes from. So there must maybe there's a different. Yeah, is there something that we can activate and, inside, or and, will it just tell us when it's right? I don't think you can count on this to tell us anything. Yeah. Um. I mean, I. You got anything to say, Worm Tongue? Those matter anchors can't remember how oh. things work. Is that something? No. Oh. Uh. Oh, it's just like the entire. Thing. Oh, that's Is weird. That. Maybe there's something up here that we're not yeah, seeing. There must be. Uh. Oh wait, what's that? Apparently, it's not. Hmm. Oh. Which, oh, oh, I can click on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Well, now oh, we know okay. how those balls appear out of nowhere. Okay. What? 
Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's see if we start with green. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't seem to line up. Maybe it doesn't quite matter. Wait, are y'all just continuing on after I leave? Oh. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you really don't want us to, so I guess not. I mean, you could, but I'd, all honestly, probably not going to go back and watch it, which is fine, but... Uh, well, you know, John, some of us were more <sighs> dedicated to that stream life than others. We don't make plans. <laughs> some of us well. have never had a plan in their entire life. <laughs> No, it's we'll stop. It's okay. I'm ready to, to oh, go. Oh god. Hey, whoa, hold on. We're doing this thing? No, it's see it's all it's set. It's, it's we already, already set. got it. Wow, we're putting it all together now. This is something. So I guess technically all those puzzles oh, that we were shit. solving were not oh, the fastest we ever solved a puzzle. Yeah, because it was only one little part of a much bigger puzzle. Yeah. Okay, so we have to we have to direct the marble from yep. each puzzle to the next puzzle. And, and then to the red one last. To the red one last, yeah. That's yeah. wild. I mean, I, I already said that. Oh, did yeah, you? But it was only wild when Jordan said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How can we stop now? We're on fire, though. Well, I guess we'll start with yellow then. Yellow. It makes sense to start with yellow if it's going clockwise, right? Mm -hmm. Or if red is last. We may, well, we probably don't go clockwise because I don't. It seems like I can't get it from yellow to blue anyway. But I can get it from yellow to green and then from green to not blue. So. Hmm. 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 Let's see if that does send it from yellow to green because if it does, then we know that that is actually like what those signs mean you know what i mean we know that that's what those signs mean well well i mean that like the exit we think is the exit actually is what are you like, if it, saying to like, me so like the little the little diamond is is what we think the puzzle is and then the arrow coming off the little diamond I think I've created a green yellow. Okay. Oh, this is. I mean, the first time it was cool, this might get a bit tedious. <laughs> but we get to revel in our accomplishment that we figured all this stuff out. What? 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 It won't let you do a loop. Yeah. It seemed uh, it seemed to like what we did there. And on that note... Um, it's time <laughs> for John <laughs> to go. Congratulations on your film, John. It's really exciting. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good excited luck. to good luck see with it. the assembly edit. <laughs> and the other edits. Every edit to come. Uh, you know, no, I really raised a lot of money. On the other ones I hope are After that last... Uh, that last uh, so, uh, oh yeah, did you get a did you get a run button bump? No. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I think I, I Wait, think I think I just did this. I think there was one person actually. I, I didn't recognize their name. I don't want to say their actual full name in case they don't like going by that. Um, but I think there was one person who I couldn't figure out 
where they came from otherwise, so I just assumed it was a run button person. Um, so. Morden Jallery. So if that's you, thousand dollars. If you're li- if you're watching this and you know you donated because the last episode, shout outs to you. Ah, wait. Uh, do- oh shit! Oh, shit. What? oh. I can't oh. oh my god! Fuck. Oh that fuck! Guys. The ball. Oh, now we're the ball. Shit. Oh man. George, that uh, John, be? you're lucky you didn't miss this. Yeah, <laughs> we're the ball. You were 30 seconds away from missing this. Oh my god! <laughs> this three is I'm the greatest game like, ever made. To my How point, come we're not spinning? Like, How come we're not holy rotating? Holy fuck! Because it's because the the seat is independent of the outer. Haven't you seen Jurassic World? Yeah, this is just like the gyrosphere. Yeah, but they didn't have that technology in 2001. Holy well, shit, I love this. Robin Stop. Oh. Shut up. Stop nitpicking this. Look what's happening right now. Are you kidding me? I want to be Miller also invented baking. So. I want to be pancaked on the wall of this thing <laughs> rotating with the ball. <laughs> wow. What a good game. Damn, Miss 3. Shit. This reminds me of what you're... No, that's the Cyan World's emblem. Um, well, but this wasn't developed by Cyan. It was bad. But it still had the emblem. All right, Shut I'll up. take it. I'll take it. It's fine. I'll Stop it. nipping, Kyle. <laughs> Enjoy it. This reminds me of like one of the first things we did. We we had in Riven, uh, where you're like having very cool yeah. like FMV scenes as like being the reward for solving the puzzle. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But they they appropriately upped the game. We're doing the thing! It didn't Holy get old! Shit. <laughs> now to the forbidden red zone. When Snowball has tread. Every every ounce of confusion and frustration I felt navigating. It just launches us into the sea. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. What is it? It's a peach. I just took a screenshot. Oh. oh my god. Oh shit. What is even happening right here? Okay. So I guess maybe maybe we're going to be building that image over the course of the game. Mm-hmm. And here we are. Climactic, I must say. Back to Janani, oh. let's do it. And that is going to be the end, of the second part of our Let's Play Mist Three series. We did a I whole think, island. I think what we really learned here is that we're if we're ever stuck on a puzzle, I just need to say that I got to go. to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I will walk. If if we do not solve it. this. We're back. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Absolutely. And Keith is here also. Nope. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>